Apostle Femi. Brilliant communicator, anointed apostle. So I welcome your family to another video of the day. So Prophet Hubert Angel was speaking about Apostle Femi Lazarus. He said the guy is very brilliant. The guy is humble. The guy honors those who have gone ahead of him. The guy is not rebellious or arrogant like other people. So he went on to talk about and he used that to give an illustration concerning marriage and use that uh, that podium to advise on marriage. So let's go and listen to what Prophet Hubert Angel said about Apostle Femi and about marriage. God bless you. Fighting a spiritual battle. There is no demon in your house. It's your eyes. This is what I was telling you about Apostle Femi. Brilliant communicator, anointed apostle. Yes, very, very respectful honors those that have gone before him very very anointed and as he was saying what he was saying i looked at it and said isn't this the truth imagine how would you operate when your son comes to you and say my wife hates me she just sucks every time all he needed she gets into the into the dining room like this, and the husband is reading a newspaper. She's looking at what she is from top to bottom. She's been in front of the mirror. She said all of this. Nothing to use it for. In the kitchen, she's there again, cooking. She knows exactly what she's there for. She has worn clothes so that you don't pass by. <laughs> he analyzed it. He said, no, son. Mm -mm. When she's cooking, just go. <laughs> when she passes by you, as you sit, stand up. Leave the newspaper alone. Within a few weeks of that advice, the wife started calling him king. He was now king. Enthroned by deeds. Yeah. Sometimes these women, I feel sorry for you. This man is not seeing anything. If you don't take care of your wife, your neighbor will. do you want ah god has given you this brilliant woman you are wasting it in zimbabwe when we speak and let me try to use the language and try to explain it is very difficult when you get married you say and i got kind of a kitchen ah translated you say i have thrown literally I threw my wife into the kitchen. Meaning to say you got married. Imagine your wife was created for a kitchen. You got married for the kitchen. Sorry. I apologize to all my daughters. Married to fools. I cook. Me. I've got a brilliant Chinese guy who cooks down the streets. My money will do the cooking. Your wife is cooking every day. <laughs> Buy food one time. Put it there. Go attempt something. I don't know. Hey, buy KFC. Put soup and pretend you cooked. Ah. So family, you've heard it from yourself. What is said concerning Apostle Femi Lazarus. Very brilliant. Very brilliant. And the man, I've listened to the man's message, Apostle Femi is on fire. The man teaches practical realities of life. Uh, he teaches practical reality of life. And he's a good communicator when it comes to teaching of a life event and life issues. Not only scripture, but the guy 
is well informed and he's very anointed too so that is what prophet Ibed and he went on and i believe from the marriage advice you pick from this message you've learned something new that you've not heard before uh, so i want you to encourage you so if you are new our channel please share like subscribe comment and so that our i welcome you family expanded. to our so goodness prophetic daily devotional for, for today by the prophet, by the prophet of god Ubed highly angel. esteemed let's get into this prophet Ubed angel and the president of the good news word madam prophetess bb angel so this is a prophetic message for you and these messages are the messages of the very hour so today's title topic is milk the cow milk the cow our anchor scripture is taken from second chronicles chapter 15 verse 7 using the king james version be ye strong therefore and let not your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded be ye strong therefore and let not your hands be weak for your reward for your work shall be rewarded a cow generally resists when it says it's about to be milked mm. so milking the cow will meet with resistance, opposition, and hostilities. Get used to this. As you rise, there will be battles unleashing from hell to arise against your next level of greatness. Mm. In this, your promised land, effort will be required early morning rising regardless of the climate conditions and challenges yes milking a cow is worrisome and laborious under the guise of dawn but be strong mm, be strong i prophesy that your labor will never be in vain as a child of God, can you shout a big amen? Your labor shall never be in vain. This is the good news prophetic daily prophesying. He said, Your labor shall never be in vain as a child of God. Shout amen. Okay. The word of God is tried and tested and proven for success. Productivity has come to you in this year of milk and honey. Mm. Where things have been stagnant in the past by the reason of the smoothness of the, of honey and the fluid the fluidity of milk you will not struggle to achieve great results in your field your marriage your businesses and your career your finances will take a new meaning with uncommon expansion of figures and profit that will clear certify your gains as you harvest of a promised land hallelujah hallelujah this is great this is great so let's read our prophetic declaration for today as usual read with me follow me or read after me so my life shall be filled with testimonies with new benchmarks in my business and finances i am blessed and highly favored as my life flows with milk and honey in jesus name amen and so shall it be for you your family and your loved ones in jesus name amen so for further studies family you study psalm 58 verse 11 and our 365 day bible reading challenge your scripture my scripture our scripture for today is isaiah chapter 31 to chapter 33 okay so as you know usual don't waste the message the words of prophet hubert and the prophet christianity is 
he always said emphasize on this don't waste the message be sure to send the, to share the message to your family to your friends to your workers your student your colleague at work at school wherever you find yourself don't waste the message you can use it on your status you can also use it on your social media handle post it don't waste the message share the message you see when you have a copy of the good news daily and you don't make effort to share it you are wasting the message and you know that the good news word the good news daily devotional is a prophet in writing so when you don't share it to other people to read what you are doing is that you are blocking the prophecies of those people so in order not to in order not to be a stumbling block please make sure you share the message you make sure the good news daily devotional the prophet in writing be prophesying to them concerning things of their life to change their situation and i believe your life shall be upgraded god bless you thank you for watching this episode of our video uh, be sure to subscribe like share and comment your opinion is welcome in the comment section let me know what you think god bless you i'll see you in my next one